What is up guys, Windows ATM Hacks here and we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of both the Surface Pro 3 and the Surface Pro 4. Let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start with the side-by-side -side boot. Okay. Note that uh, the Surface Pro 4 is running Windows 10 and the Surface Pro 3 is running Windows 8.1. Windows 10 is in the um, desktop mode instead of tablet. And what we're going to do is start Steam at the same time. Just your regular application. Pretty good. And we're going to run. Three D Mark. And we're going to start those at the same time. Now I'm going to run these um, run these primary tests and then we'll continue from there. Alright, now that the test is done, um, I just wanted to note that, as you've seen, the Surface Pro 4 was not um, loading it, and this one loaded first, the Surface Pro 3, but it took about a good minute, or, or just a little bit under a minute, for it to actually start loading this one. But this one actually finished about 30 seconds before this one and it was more mainly due to the loading time of each of each test that was done as you see here the first one first test here which is the fire strike this one got a 860 and then the Surface Pro 3 got 386 and for and for skydive we got 3642 for Surface Pro 4 and the Surface Pro 3 got 1818 and for cloud gate Surface Pro 4 8002 Surface Pro 3, 3,898. And for Ice Storm, 53,048. Surface Pro 4, sorry, Surface Pro 3, 15,251 for those benchmarks. Now, other than the benchmarks, there is a noticeable difference. 
from the Surface Pro 3 and the Surface Pro 4. Now, the Surface Pro 4 is slightly smaller, just slightly. Now, I'm not too sure if you'll be able to notice the difference, but There is one. There is a slight difference. There's a very small gap there. Well, just a very small little nudge. And the Surface Pro 4 and 3 are pretty much identical in size. Now if I put the Surface Pro 4 on top of the Surface Pro 3. You can see that the depth is pretty identical. Yeah, pretty identical. And, um, You can notice the difference in the screens. The Surface Pro 4 has the 13 inch screen and the Surface Pro 3 has the 12 inch screen. The Surface Pro 3 has the home button for, well, the start button, and the Surface Pro 4 does not. And the Surface Pro 4 has the three, the three sensors with the camera, and the Surface Pro 4 does not. The sensors are the for facial recognition, which I tested out was pretty damn cool. And it has a better megapixel on this one than the Surface Pro 3. The Surface Pro 4 has a better screen. Uh, for pixel wise, it looks nicer. You can barely notice the pixels. And on the Surface Pro 3, you could notice the pixels greater than the Surface Pro 4. Now, as you can see from side by side, you could see the display difference. It's quite noticeable. But other than that, there's not much. Um, the Surface Pro 4 does use the Surface Pro 3 type cover and touch cover. But the Surface Pro 4, you can get a fingerprint, a, fring, a finger ID scanner with the type cover, which I found was quite awesome. I haven't tried that yet. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna be looking into getting one. But to my knowledge, it's not shipped to Canada. But I'll find a way to get it. But um. Yeah, there's not much else to compare. And yeah, this has been brought to you by Windows 8 TMX. Like, comment, subscribe.